Cat Person is a movie that has generated a lot of buzz since its premiere at the Sundance Film Festival in January 2023. Based on the viral New Yorker short story by Kristen Rupinian, the film is a dark and twisted exploration of modern dating, consent, and gender dynamics. The story follows Margot, a 20-year-old college student who works at a movie theater, and Robert, an older man who frequents the theater and starts texting her. Their online flirtation leads to a date that goes horribly wrong, and Margot finds herself trapped in a nightmare of Robert's obsession and manipulation. The film is directed by Susanna Fogel, who previously helmed the comedy The Spy Who Dumped Me, and written by Michelle Ashford, who has worked on shows like Masters of Sex and The Pacific. The cast includes Amelia Jones as Margot, Nicholas Braun as Robert, Geraldine Viswanathan as Margaret's friend Taylor, and Isabella Rossellini as Margaret's therapist Dr. Zabala. The film also features Hope Davis, Fred Melamed, Liza Koshy, Michael Gondolfini, and Isaac Cole Powell in supporting roles. Cat Person is a film that tries to be many things at once a psychological thriller, a black comedy, a social commentary, and a faithful adaptation of the source material. However, it fails to achieve any of these goals satisfactorily. The film suffers from a lack of focus, coherence, and subtlety. It exaggerates the characters and situations to the point of absurdity, losing the nuance and realism that made the original story so compelling and relatable. The film also adds unnecessary scenes and plot twists that deviate from the story and undermine its message. The film's biggest flaw is its tone, which is inconsistent and confusing. The film shifts from being darkly humorous to being disturbingly violent without warning or reason. The film does not seem to know whether it wants to make the audience laugh or scream, or what it wants to say about its themes. The film's attempts at humor often fall flat, or come across as insensitive or offensive. For example, one scene depicts Robert forcing Margot to watch his favorite movie, which turns out to be a Nazi propaganda film. This scene is supposed to be funny, but it is neither funny nor relevant to the story. The film's attempts at horror are also ineffective. And over the top, the film relies on cheap jump scares, gore, and cliches to create tension and fear. For example, one scene shows Robert stalking Margot in her apartment with a knife, while another scene shows him torturing her with a cat-shaped iron. These scenes are not only unrealistic and gratuitous, but they also contradict the character of Robert as established in the story. In the story, Robert is not a violent psychopath, but a lonely and insecure man who feels rejected and humiliated by Margot. His actions are driven by his emotions, not by his evil intentions. The film also fails to capture the essence of the stories, characters and their relationship the film does not develop Margot and Robert as complex and flawed human beings, but as stereotypes and caricatures. Margot is portrayed as a naive and shallow girl, who is easily manipulated by Robert's charm and lies. Robert is portrayed as a creepy and pathetic loser, who is obsessed with Margot and has no life of his own. The film does not show the chemistry or attraction between them nor the ambiguity or confusion that they feel about each other. The film reduces their relationship to a simple cat and mouse game, where Margot is the prey and Robert is the predator. The film also misses the opportunity to explore the deeper issues that the story raises about dating, consent, and gender in the contemporary society. The film does not address the questions that the story poses about how people communicate their desires and boundaries online and offline, how they interpret each other's signals and cues, how they deal with their expectations and disappointments, 
how they cope with their guilt and shame, how they navigate the power dynamics and social norms that shape their interactions. The film does not challenge or provoke the audience to think about these topics critically or empathetically. Instead, the film simplifies and sensationalizes them for entertainment purposes. Cat Person is a movie that disappoints on many levels. It is a poor adaptation of a brilliant short story that loses its impact and meaning in translation. It is a poorly executed genre film that fails to deliver on its promises of thrills and laughs. It is a wasted opportunity to explore relevant and important themes that affect many people's lives today. Cat Person is a movie that should have been left as a short story.